We are back on the video here, guys, and we have built the team. So you guys can see I have 1.5 mil remaining. So I spent essentially 5 mil on the team. So again, I felt like I'm kind of bored of just never having a team. You know what I mean? Like literally never having a team that like I feel like is just stacked. When I know I could have a crazy good team. So I decided let's spend the coins. Let's get it going. First line, guys. Boom! 99 Nathan McKinnon. There he is. I bought this card for like essentially 500k and that is... Boy is that ideal in my opinion. Are you joking me? Like, how could you go wrong with this card? Um, in, in, in the end for me, I believe they just get in the evil cards as soon as they're, you know, they have their team of the years, it's the best because I don't need burner, so that's why I, don't, I wouldn't need the, the McKinnon with 2BU. Of course, the... the the team of the year card is still the better card, for sure, but I don't really have to worry about activating Burner. You guys feel me? Nathan McKinnon, then we got Connor McDavid with the face-offs of 95 being my first line center. That's the main reason. Um, to me, there's really not enough good centers with good face-offs, unless like, you have a Gretzky or Lemieux, so I mean, that's the only rough thing, but... Yeah, so we got McDavid, then we got Evo to Matthews for 450 yesterday. That's also stunning to me. It really is truly wild how cheap these evil cards become as soon as they get uh, their team of the year cards. And I guarantee you guys that uh, Matthews probably at one point uh, will end up at 99 overall as long as the Leafs do well in the playoffs, which, you know, I'm crossing my fingers on that one. Come on, go Leafs, guys. Uh, then we got Nolan, of course. Eh, boring, right? Then we got 96 to Shane, guys. 96 to Shane. He's got 91 face-offs. Again, I, I prefer a better center, but there just really aren't many good options with, like, good face-offs is what I... I mean, I can, in theory, put Nolan at center, but again, then I really don't... I don't have a spot for Duchesne, so I don't know. I, I think we're going to roll with Duchesne at center here on the second line for a little bit. Got Team of the Year, Pedersen. This card also didn't cost too much. Around 550k. Uh, maybe a little more. I don't remember exactly how much I bought him for. But in that range for sure. And you're telling me. I mean, this card's a beast. Absolute beast. 90, 99 slap shot power with call the shot. Uh, he's got every synergy activated. That's beautiful. Um, just this card overall is magnificent. Honestly, really a beautiful card. And I'm enjoying him so far. I got the third line. Team of the Year Eichel. Also really sick. Call the shot. This card's for some reason not going for much at all. So, a card I would I would definitely suggest to you guys. I mean, this card is absolutely killing it for me so far. So, pick up Eichel, guys. Why not? Then we got Sakic, Stasny. You know the typical guys. Obviously the free legends. We get it. Makita, Newendike. Newendike's a beauty. Obviously with the faceoffs. Never I'm gonna get rid of him probably. Then the defense. 98 Hamilton guys. Go Hurricanes. Go Hurricanes. Please, please make the playoffs and be the wild card. And I think they will. I think they're in a good spot to be the wild card team, so I will take that. So, uh, yeah, this card's pretty good. I mean, it really is. Um, the shot's kind of underwhelming, but very good defensively. Um, we're hoping that he stays a 98 overall. If not, well, then uh, I probably lost 300k, but it's okay. We got Thomas Shabbat, 99. This card, I didn't know Shabbat was 6'2". I thought he was a little smaller than that. I thought he was maybe six foot, five, eleven, maybe. But no, he's actually a really big, big card, honestly. And honestly... He doesn't have many points, 5 points, 8 games, but that's not too bad. He feels really good in game, and that's really all that matters to me. He'll get his points, and at the end of the day, he's a defenseman, you know what I mean? Like, you're, you're not asking a defenseman to be point per game, unless you're, you know, asking for a lot, I guess. But then we got the second pairing, 94 Team of the Week, Burns. Honestly, I see a lot of top guys using him, and I said, you know what? Let's stack this second pair with a 6-5 D-man and a 6-6 D-man. So we have absolute giants on the second pair right now. And, uh, yeah, we're hoping they're going to definitely perform on. So far, they have. Then we got the third pair, Fowler and McKinnis, guys, that have been on the team previously. And then we got a net. Ron Hextall is out for now. We're trying out Mackenzie Black. We played one game for me. Unfortunately, he only faced six shots as the guy quit, so his stats are kind of not really looking too good. But, end of the day, he won that game and uh, won an O so far. So, we're going to see how Mackenzie Blackwood plays. I'm a Devils fan. Might as well give him a shot. So, uh, yeah. I mean, that's really it. Check out some gameplay, guys. In the zone. No luck. He might want to consider taking a bit off that shot. Score! And the game is even. Looking to Nolan. Now it's directed to Pedersen. He's got this one, and they're after him. Score! A big one-timer. Score! Outstanding job on the power play. 
Puck grabbed. They're ready to go. One timer. He scores. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. So hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe. If you're new to the channel here, and I would appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Generate something. Directing that one to McKinnon. Shot. He scores. Second of the game.